Is Eric Stoltz in the final cut of Back to the Future? Let's have a chat. The Pinpoint. Back in 1985, a landmark film was made called Back to the Future. And it's pretty common knowledge that the main character was played by Michael J. Fox, but initially he was played by Eric Stoltz. And sort of six or eight weeks into production, he was replaced. But there's a rumor that there's still footage of him in the final film. So we'll get into that uh, in a minute. But I, I first saw Back to the Future um, at the cinema when it was released um, in, I was at, in Albury, at the Albury Civic Theatre. It was just a magical experience. And I think in retrospect that movies made in the 80s just have a certain something about them. It could be because I'm nostalgic, but I think it's much more than that. The elements and the storytelling and everything just seems to be, it's just a magical experience, but it still holds up today. And another a funny thing about it was for years, there was rumors that there were gonna be sequels to this, uh, to this movie because you know, that the ending sort of lent itself to a sequel. There was a graphic that came up that said, to be continued. There's some speculation as to whether that was put in there as a joke or not. Um, it could have been because they had to fiddle with a few little things um, to make it fit in. So it might not have been planned to have that sequel. But for years, my brother and I were keeping, a, keeping tabs on things to see if this thing was actually gonna happen. And before the internet, all we had were our mum's TV Week magazines and um, the magazines that you get free at the video rental places which are all but dead now but you know video easy would have a magazine upcoming attractions um, you really had to dig and research to get any information back then but every time there was a michael j fox release we'd think maybe this is it maybe this is it and eventually it finally came out not only we're we going to get a sequel but we're going to get two sequels they're going to be shot back to back and released one after the other and it was very exciting and i think back to the future is one of the only great trilogies that really hold up. It's all contained. And I would have said that about Star Wars, but I have uh, lost a little bit of faith in that of recent, recent years. Um, that's probably a story for another time. And number two is just as good. And number three, you might say, is not very good. And I would debate you on that. Because I think not only is it a great movie, but it's a great Western. And it ties everything up and is very exciting. It's an awesome story. And it really ties a neat bow on the whole saga. So Eric Stoltz, he was originally cast and he was, reports vary, but apparently shooting anywhere between four and eight weeks. The majority of the movie was in the can and it soon started to emerge that he might have been playing it a little bit too seriously, a little bit too straight and intense. And what they wanted was a comical element to the performance. He was eventually replaced by Michael J. Fox, who was very much involved in Family Ties at the time, the very successful sitcom Family Ties. So they eventually got Michael J. Fox in and they shot both at the same time and he was um, if you read his biography, he would shoot on the set of Family Ties, they'd chuck him in a, in a car, they'd drive him out to the set, and he'd shoot all night. and barely be getting any sleep. Um, and he managed to shoot both at the same time. But the feeling on the set, according to the actor who played Biff, Thomas F. Wilson, was a little bit unsettling. He got the sense that something was wrong and every day he was putting in his best effort because he was convinced that he was going to be fired. There was something wrong, but I didn't know what was wrong, but there was clearly, there's something going on. And then, uh, and then they stopped production on a particular day. We're not gonna shoot this day. And that was very strange. And I was at home and I was thinking, are they, is the whole movie gonna stop? Is that why people were nervous? Are they gonna just, pull the plug on it. And then Bob Gale, a producer, writer, called me at home, said, Tom, could you come down to the studio? We would like to talk to you. <laughs> and 
it's me. I'm getting fired. I really thought that. It was the longest, longest drive I've ever taken in my life. I said, Bob, please, just tell me on the phone. I'm getting, we'd like to tell you in person. We'd like to talk to you. I take this long drive, and I'm thinking, and I'm thinking what we think, you know? Don't blow it, just stand up and say, well, thank you very much for the opportunity, and then I'll move to Alaska and work on one of those crab fishing boats, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what to do now. It'll be fin that'll be it, you know? And they took, uh, they took me in and said, we have some bad news. Oh, yes, we've had to fire Eric. It wasn't just, I said, will you say that again? <laughs> Uh, we've had to fire Eric, and we've, we're casting Michael J. Fox, and we're going to go back and redo all these scenes th that, that we've done before. And I said, you and I said, I get paid for that, right? <laughs> they said, well, yes, yes. And you'll still have free snacks? You know, yeah, there'll be snacks. Yes! Thomas F. Wilson was safe. He was the best person for the role of Biff, and he played Biff in many different eras, and also his ancestor, and it was really a great performance. So he had nothing to worry about. It was Eric Stoltz that got fired. So in comes Michael J. Fox. He re-records everything, the whole lot. But there is a rumor that there is one shot of Eric Stoltz remaining in the film, and this is it. Marty is convincing his dad to ask Lorraine out to the dance so he'll be born and he's in the diner and trying to convince him and in walks Biff and Marty confronts Biff and realizes he's kind of out of his depth because Biff's quite a big bloke and push comes to shove and Marty punches him. All right, punk. Now I'm gonna... Whoa, whoa, Biff. What's that? <laughs> So the front part of the punch is Michael J. Fox, but then there's a shot from behind and you can clearly see, well, according to rumor, the side of Eric Stoltz's face. And so the punch occurs from behind. So some more supporting evidence for this claim is that Thomas F. Wilson looks quite fresh in this shot as a, um, compared to the shot from other angles. And the reason why this is considered supporting evidence is because he does look fresher, which means that it was shot earlier on with Eric Stoltz. So the production was new and um, it was quite some time ago and it didn't quite fit, although it does take an eagle eye. So next time you're watching Back to the Future, have a look at that shot. You might need to freeze frame it and maybe um, play it in slow-mo, but as far as I'm concerned, it's definitely there. So, is Eric Stoltz still in Back to the Future? I think yes. The Pinball